Use this corner post route to go ahead and attack your opponent for big yards. Up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, wanted to start breaking down the Philadelphia playbook. Uh, my members of my Patreon account, uh, my Patreon patrons requested me. This is the overwhelmingly uh, selected uh, particular book. So we're going to go ahead and break down the first formation that actually pops up automatically for you, which is going to be the single back wing tight. Now I want to show you basically uh, the base plays I'm going to call out of the huddle. And then I'm going to go ahead and jump into some audibles. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take quick slants. I'm going to switch that particular play into uh, into the uh, play action flanker stretch so I can attack my opponent off to the right. And the play action mills, this particular play, what I want to do is I want to go and switch this out with the play action roll left. Uh, this allows me to go ahead and do play actions off the left and to the right. This is going to be a very play action orientated offense. Now, um, our also, also our other base audible is going to be the halfback zone. So what we want to do is complement this with the running game, the stretch, and then also I'm going to go ahead and use the play action stretch too to go ahead and keep my opponents uh, honest with it. So let's go ahead and just use your stretch really quick and then just, and run this against random defenses. And uh, this is probably one of the better stretch plays in the game just because you've got such good blocking. But what's going to happen is that you're going to be able to go ahead and get easy, uh, easy yards against your opponent. Easy play to go ahead and flip. And you just essentially go ahead and look for the for the outside. Even if you're picking up four or five yards, it's not a huge deal. Uh, you want to go ahead and establish that run against your opponent uh, just so he's forced to go ahead and defend uh, the runs to the outside. Now, what's beautiful about this particular formation is that the base audible is an inside zone. And what you can do is just go ahead and run the ball to the inside uh, to pick up some fairly easy yards. So now he's going to defend outside, left side. Um, uh, it's going to be very difficult for him to go and defend this type of stuff. You just look for the double teams and just take the ball to the inside. You're going to pop a big run. I don't want to sit here and just keep going, going ahead and, and running plays uh, just to go and pop a big run for you. I just want to show you that this is going to be the scheme that you want to use. So let's go and jump into one of the base uh, uh, plays, a pass, a play, pass plays I'm going to call that will give you an opportunity to pick up some pretty big yards down the field. Now one of the base plays I might call out of the audible or out of the huddle opposed to stretch is going to be the play action stretch. And um, I'm really not going to make much of adjustment outside of I don't like the animation with the, the running back. Uh, the route is weird. He doesn't get out really with good depth. So I'm going to go ahead and put him on a block and a release. That means I'm going to get an extra blocker. Now, really, my read is going to be uh, the coverage up top. I'm going to go ahead and read man or zone coverage. Man coverage, a lot of times what's going to happen is this uh, wide receiver route will get separation against man coverage. But let's go ahead and run this against. Uh, so once again, man coverage, your hot read is going to be the guy that's going to be going over the middle like that. Let's go ahead and run this against cover two. Just going to be going against random cover twos. Once again, we're going to go ahead and block and release. This will give us a little bit better blocking uh, than the play action automation or animation. So what's cool about this particular play is this this uh, corner post route is going to give you an opportunity to go ahead and make some major uh, uh, major, major yardage, uh, 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 basically over the middle, especially against the cover two. If you get the time, uh, you're going to be able to go ahead and get those big play opportunities to go ahead and hit your opponent over the middle. So. If you do have a, a cover two spammer, uh, he is going to get himself in a lot of trouble with this particular uh, this particular play uh, because this does have an opportunity to go and beat that cover two. The only problem with this 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 particular route is the route does take a long time to develop, so it is important that you understand that uh, you can get yourself in some serious trouble. If you do hot route it, uh, it will actually make the cuts a little bit quicker, so that actually will speed speed things up. So. Um, if you got a guy that run, uh, runs a lot of cover two, you can go ahead and shorten it up a little bit. As you can see, it's very subtle, but the difference is now you're actually going to get a guy into uh, a, a big, um, um, he's going to fall into that area a little bit quicker and you have more time to do it. So what happens if you got an opponent that runs a lot of cover three? Well, that, that post corner route actually should beat that particular coverage and be able to get you some fairly good separation. So we have 
So to get the route to develop a little bit quicker, you can smart route it. And then he's going to get uh, interested in a weak, uh, unique area of the zones uh, just because of the, uh, that double move that's actually going to throw your opponent off. So that's what's really, really cool about this particular play. But, uh, you know, you are basically running a situation where you get sacked because you got to wait for this play to develop. So I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily depend on that 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 uh, corner post route uh, is one of your base uh, base routes to be looking at. Uh, you don't want to get obsessed with it. You want to look at the other check downs. So if, it, if a guy doesn't fall into the flat against the cover three, uh, it's a block and release so that the, so the coverage might fall away. So you want to be very, uh, that's going to be another area that you want to go and look at. You've also got this block and release route on the back side and the flats on the other side that you can attack. Now, another play that you, another area of the field that you can probably attack with your opponent is this route right here with a fast read against cover three. So if you see the develop, um, it, it's something you can definitely go ahead and look at. And it might be something if you see like a three high shell like this that you can go ahead and try to attack that. And let's see if we can get that in there. No, I just forced that ball in there, but uh, that's going to be an area of the field that you can you can go ahead and attack if a defender doesn't fall in the area. And if he floats up, that flat is going to be wide open. So it's going to be kind of pick your poison. If you make the right read, you make the right right decision with getting rid of the ball. But uh, once again, that that one big route on the backside is going to be the area that you're going to be able to attack it, attack a map. So uh, a lot of opponents are going to come out in a cover four in a heavy set like this. They're going to bring the safeties down. Uh, so once again, let's just see how that that corner post affects the coverage and it gets naked wide open. So you know you can essentially go ahead and hit your opponent. Uh, they're going to use a lot of those. Um, uh, a lot of those uh, uh, basically just kind of a coverage type shells and this this will get wide open for you and you're going to be able to get a good 20 yard 25 yards with that that route so this is something you can jump into just to keep your opponent honest um, and it's going to go ahead and definitely make it difficult for him to go ahead and do that so if you want to go ahead and get rid of the ball quick on that on that route by the tight end you can definitely do that uh, but you've also got your check downs that you can go ahead and attack your opponent with. And let's see what happens with this check down over here. Let's see if actually um, on the backhand side uh, you, you've got a guy that actually plays that. So here's a nice little uh, cover four beat or two because unless your opponent actually does over the top coverage, which is probably not going to be very likely, he ch that defender actually checks down to the running back route. Uh, so that's going to give you another opportunity to go ahead and hit your opponent on the sidelines with Selleck's route. So it's good to actually have that understanding right there just got rid of the ball a little bit too quick and obviously it's one of the best cornerbacks with Norman over here on the right hand side but there's a good way to go ahead and attack your opponent keep them honest uh, go ahead and attack them uh, with different areas and be basically beat all the different types of coverages so guys if you are new to my channel and you like these tips make sure you go ahead and hit that like button and also uh, make sure you subscribe if you want to go ahead and get the rest of the, the, the other three parts of the series out of this Philadelphia single back wing tight offense so once again to my subscribers thank you for your support and until next time